Hi guys, we are Dan and Steph from My Kitchen Rules and here to Dan and Steph's and Harvey Bay, but more importantly, we're the Sunfall Ambassadors. We're so excited to be part of the virtual 2020 Baker Fest. We've got some fond memories of Baker Fest, such a great crowd, um, and we're really looking forward to showcasing some great pork dishes for you today. What we're going to do is we're going to do a Vietnamese marinade and we're going to pickle some vegetables. And what we're going to do is get some vermicelli noodles as well and serve them in a lettuce cup. Sorry. The big thing with this is we're going to step away from the ribs with your smoking and all that sort of stuff and your rubs and your marinades and Asian it up and, and, and make this uh, sun pork uh, rib really shine. Uh, it's really important we've got. It's more Vietnamese, so uh, we travelled to Vietnam uh, a few years ago and I got this marinade from a cooking class we did and I'll never forget it. It's very basic, it's got lemongrass, uh, ginger, garlic, honey, sesame oil and fish sauce. And it is absolutely to die for, but very versatile, you can use it for anything. But we feel as though it's going to be perfect for these ribs. We've already done it, so we've marinated overnight, pretty much all the ingredients into a processor, whisk them up. Covered that pork rack, um, absolutely delicious. Get it in the oven four to five hours on 150 degrees, and then we're going to pull the bones out, and then we'll slice the meat up, and we'll assemble our San Choy style Asian pork ribs. Fantastic. Well, let's put the some pork ribs in the oven. See you in four to five hours, pork ribs. Okay, so that is actually going to make the house smell so delicious, but um, what's going to come with these and what we're going to serve with these pork ribs is some pickled vegetables. Now, pickling vegetables is so simple and uh, we're going to do it now while the ribs are in the oven because the longer they pickle, the better they get. So we've got this nice um, gelatinous fatty piece of pork rib that we're going to have that's going to be absolutely delicious, so we want to cut through that fat with a bit of pickle. Uh, just to give it that good balance, we've, we've got the freshness of the lettuce, we've got the vermicelli, the pickled carrot and that beautiful juicy pork. That's so right. Works and really well together. It really does. And we're not going to overcomplicate the, the pickled veg. Basically what we're going to use is cabbage and carrot. Um, for the pickling liquid, we're going to move over to the stove. But all you need is vinegar, which we have in the cupboard, sugar, caster sugar, whatever sugar you have because you're going to dissolve it. And we're going to use start some star anise to infuse that flavour and really get an Asian kind of um, flavour into our dish as well with using the pickled vegetables. So if you want to get a bit fancy, you can chuck a couple of cloves, a bit of cinnamon stick in there. Yep. But we just like that uh, star anise that's quite Vietnamese and going to be perfect accompaniment to our beautiful pork. Yeah, okay. So the first step, what we need to do is do our vinegar and sugar into a pan and then infuse it with some star anise. So This is very simple, guys. We're going to put the vinegar in the pot. We're going to add the sugar, the star anise, and we're going to bring it to the boil until the sugar's dissolved, and then we're going to kill it. That's Done. it. Simple. Pour and it over our pickle. Um, then we're going to pour it over our veggies, and then let it sit and do its thing. Yeah. While the pork's in the oven, so and then pretty much dinner's nearly done. We like to put a hot pickle. We like to put a hot pickling liquid onto our veggies because the the heat tends to absorb more into the veggies, so you're going to get that more pickle flavour. Right. But it's very crucial that you get a good balance of vinegar and sugar. So it's perfect pickle. That's right. If you, when you taste your pickling um, liquid, if it's basically tasting just vinegar, you need to add some more sugar. sugar. Or maybe add a little bit of water if it's too uh, vinegary for you. So it needs to have that really good balance. Let's get our pickling liquid happening. Okay guys, so our pork ribs are in the oven um, and we've also pickled our vegetables. The last thing we need to do is just get our vermicelli noodles ready to go for assembly. Um, so we're just gonna pour some hot water over those till they become nice and soft. Hot water, and then just leave them. Leave and be. Yep, and then pull them out when they're ready to serve. They should be cooked through by the time that water's cooled down. Yep. And then we'll assemble. So pretty easy, guys. Pork's in the oven, pickled veg is done, vermicelli's done. We've got our lettuce ready to go. We've got our cashews that we're going to garnish with at the end. All together, absolute flavour sensation. We'll see you back shortly. Well, there you have it, guys. Meat's been in the oven now for four and a half hours. We've rested it for 40 minutes. And now we're going to pull all the bones out and we're going to chop the meat up. So we've got our beautiful cod lettuce, we're going to get some vermicelli on top of that. And then we're going to get the meat on, 
We've also got this beautiful stock that we don't want to get rid of either. So this is a mixture of all those beautiful um, herb, herbs and uh, sauces and stuff that we marinated our pork in with a little bit of chicken stock. And we're going to make sure we get that all over the meat too as we uh, assemble this dish. So, very exciting. Stay tuned. We're going to pull this meat off and get it chopped up and we'll be straight back ready to serve. One bonne bonne bonne. Two bonne bonne bonne. Three! Oh my gosh. As you can see guys, bones just falling out. Absolutely delicious. Super soft, super tender. These sun pork ribs are to die for. The best thing I love about these sun pork ribs, they're not like your butcher. So you go to your butcher and they'll give you this skinny rack. That's no good, because the lips are going to dry out. So with the sun pork ones, they're always massive meaty. They've got a great amount of fat in them. Second to none. So the best, hands down the best pork rib you'll get in the market. Like, look at that. Clean. Absolutely sensational. Clean bones. We've seen just how quick those bones have come out of that rib. And absolutely, I'm stoked. Yeah. So super soft, super moist. Tastes delicious. Super tasty. Let's get this dish happening. We want to chop it up like the ribs, so people can take a bit. Easily feed a family of four. So I'm just going to sprinkle some vermicelli onto this dish. So we've pulled the lettuce cups apart, just the cos lettuce or whatever lettuce you like or have. I'm just going to sprinkle that on there. Then Dan's going to follow me with some meat. that each person comes along and gets a lettuce cut and fills it up with all the witness. Mm. You've got to be super careful because this meat's super delicate. So, pork ribs on. Now, don't forget the pan juices. Got to get, so what we got here, because this is reduced for so long, it's a little bit salty. It's not super salty, like it's, it's yummy. But also too, we've got our pickle that we've made a little bit sweeter than normal. So the contrast will be spot on. So we're just gonna spoon the sauce over the pork. All that beautiful pork fat, we've got all those beautiful herbs and spices from the beef and marinade. Honestly, guys, this is delicious. Thank you. 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 Thank Pickled veg, very important. So we have drains that pickle off the veg. Yeah, so we've got rid of the star anise. Yeah. Pickled veg. Just that acidity to cut through the richness of the pork. Um, because the rib's quite moist and fatty, which is sensational. Um, then we've got some toasted cashews. So just all over with the toasted cashews. You get more flavour. But also crunchy. Bit of well. texture. Yeah, yeah. Ticking all the boxes here. And then the creme de la creme. Fresh herbs out of the garden. So we've got a big herb garden that's full of all a lot of Asian spices because we love a lot of Asian cooking. So if you figure that out <laughs> by now. So we've got some mint, we've got Vietnamese mint, and we've got some coriander. And then we're just gonna just mix them all together. Yeah. Lucky dip. Be careful with the Vietnamese mint, it's quite overpowering. So we just. There we go. You want to be, um, if you love some heat, put some red chilli on there. Red chilli, well. a bit of contrast with colour too. We've got Miss Muffin eating this with us tonight, so we'll keep the chilli away from it. So there we have it, guys. Our Vietnamese pork ribs. We know that you guys will love it, and please let us know if you do create this dish. Um, send us a message at info at danisdev.com.au um, I know that the girls at Sunport would love to see what you guys do. So thanks so much for joining us at the virtual uh, 2020 Bacon Fest. Uh, we hope to see you in person perhaps next year. Definitely. Front and centre we will be. Sunport 10. Absolutely. Come and check it out. Say good day. I reckon we'll have some snag samples on to offer. Alright. Thanks guys. Cheers guys. Happy cooking.